today I am back with another DIY video but before we get that video started I just want to tell you guys a quick story so literally like 15 minutes ago I came back from the thrift store with my mom because they're having a freaking 50% off sale when I was checking out so I was paying a lady and then she gave me this look <laughs> so then I was like why is she giving me that look I, I just kind of touched my teeth and do you know what I saw lipstick so I was like Oh crap, I have lipstick all over my teeth. I turned to my mom and was like, Mom, why didn't you tell me I had lipstick on my teeth? And then she's like, Oh, I thought you knew this whole time. I'm just like... So the moral of the story is always make sure you check yourself. So for today's DIY, we're going to make some pillows. So we should be going to try to make an Instagram one. So I'm not on here, I didn't shave it. YouTube one because, hello, I am uploading this video on YouTube. And also a Twitter one. Woo! Um, I don't have a Twitter by the way in case you guys are wondering. Okay, so let's just get the video started because I've been talking a lot So the first one we're doing is the Twitter pillow So first you will need to just copy a template of the Twitter bird online and then just adjust it to the size you want Cut out the piece of paper and then use that as a template and trace it over your blue felt And then you should have something that looks like this and then just cut out that blue piece of felt and after that, you just need a white piece of felt and just place your birdie over that. And because I want to hide the ink marks, I just flipped it the other side. Stick the bird onto the white felt. And you can choose to do it any way you want. You can glue it or you can sew it like what I'm doing. So after you've sewed the birdie, take another piece of white felt and place it on top of that. And then just sew the three sides. Any three sides will work, by the way. After you're done with that, just carefully flip it inside out like this, making sure that you just kind of get all the corners as well. And then take some stuffing of your choice and then just stuff the crap out of this. You can definitely adjust it to how puffy you want your pillows to be. After you're done stuffing the crap out of this pillow, and then you just want to close that hole right there. I chose to glue that part because I tried sewing it and it did not turn out that pretty. Moving on to the next pillow, which is the website that I go to every single day, which is YouTube. So first you want to cut out the YouTube letters, and yes, it took me half an hour to do it. And then you want to take a red rounded piece of rectangle felt, and you basically just want to transfer the letters onto that red felt. You can definitely glue it or sew it however you want. I am actually going to sew the logo onto the white felt. But it was just that I was running low on glue, that's why. Like the Twitter one, you just want to place another white piece of felt over that, side together, and then flip it inside out, and then stuff the crap out of this pillow. And just remember to close the hole. And for the last one we're making, we're going to make the Instagram. So I'm using this off-white color felt and I made it into a square so I'm just cutting that piece off. And make sure to make two pieces of this. Take a brown color felt and you're going to cut the one-fourth size of your off-white felt. So after you have your brown piece of rectangle felt, you want to place that over your off-white one. Glue it or sew that piece onto the off-white one. And make sure you do this for both off-white pieces. Now taking a paper circle, I'm just going to guesstimate how big I want the lens to be. And using this as a template, I'm going to use some black felt and just cut out a circle. And I also cut it a rounded corner square for the upper right hand corner. Now cutting these really small rectangle pieces, and these will be for your upper left hand corner of your camera and make sure to cut them in red blue green and yellow as well and then just assemble all the details onto the camera and I also added this little white piece as a illusion for shininess and then after that you can just glue everything or you can sew everything together but I'm just being lazy and I just glue everything and in case you guys are wondering I'm using super glue here and I know that some of you guys will be like what super glue but yeah it works and like the two previous pillows I'm just going to sew the two pieces together then stuff the crap out of this pillow and then just enclose that hole right there and your pillows are basically complete okay, so thank you so much for staying until the end of the video I'm excited for my my next video because it's going to be a back to school theme and it's, it's a DIY by the way because you stayed until the end of the video I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of my next or part of my next DIY video which is this what? it's a minion bag I don't want to give you too much details subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I seriously need more followers so yeah subscribe follow and don't follow me on Twitter because I don't have one so thank you so much so thank you so much for so thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye guys!